Have love with Pat's two cents. Here to tell you, God is able to do the impossible. Now you and I both know that it is impossible for an ax to float. But guess what? Through a human being that happened to be a servant of God, God enabled an ax to float up to the top of the water after the man had dropped it and asked the prophet to please do something because that was a borrowed ax. It wasn't even his. And he caused that ax to float. You know, another thing God did, he called water out of a rock. When the Israelites were going through the desert, he pulled water out of a rock. It gushed from that rock. He sent manna from heaven. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask or think according to the power that works within us. How much power is working in you? How much power is working in me? Listen. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. Listen, it is not a matter of what you are able to do with a little bit of help from God. It's all that God is able to do with a little bit of faith from you. That's all it takes is a mustard seed of faith. Somebody needs to hear this. You're looking at an impossible situation. The impossible situation has got you hitting the panic button right about now. But God ain't panicking. You are. Remember the God you serve. Go over the miracles that God has already done in your life and remind yourself through that word of all God is capable of doing. God raised Lazarus when Jesus called Lazarus forth. Lazarus come forth. Lazarus rose from the dead four days after being buried. Four days, that means decomposition had already begun. Is God able or not? Some of you just like me, Need to ask God. I have asked and I'm waiting for it to happen. And I'm going to keep on asking until it does. God, give me a brand new heart. Some of you need God to give you a brand new brain, brand new eyes, brand new organs, whatever. Ask God to do it. A man told a testimony on TV of how he was in a bad fire and he had third degree burns over the majority of his body. He prayed. I mean, he prayed and he worshiped. And all of a sudden, this bright light shone in his whole room. And it knocked him out. And when he woke up the next day, he had scabs all over his skin that were fully, fully developed. I don't mean scabs that if you pulled them, he'd start bleeding. I mean scabs that were ready to come off. And when he started peeling the scabs off, it was nothing but pure pink baby skin underneath, no rawness, no tenderness, total healing, no scar tissue. When God does a miracle, I'm telling you, the sky is the limit. There is no limit to what God is able to do. Ask big. Don't ask small. Don't settle for, well, Lord, all you really got to do is, he ain't that much of a wimp now. He's not a wimp at all. He's not crippled and he ain't crazy. He's able. You ask him for whatever it is you want and expect it. Expect it. I don't care if it comes today, tomorrow, 10 years from now. You keep knocking on that door till it happens because Jesus said he has used the example of importunity. The woman that was trying to, to, to get vindicated by the judge because she was done wrong. And the, and the judge didn't want to be bothered. He didn't fear God or man. New Testament. 
And she's begging him and bugging him and begging him and bugging him and begging him and bugging him. He said, look, lest this woman weary the crap out of me, give her what she wants. Bam, judgment in her favor. Just to shut her up. That was Jesus's way of telling us to ask and keep on asking. We have that right. Children do it to you all the time, don't they? Mommy, when am I going to get my... Mommy, please let me... Mommy, mommy, please, mommy, please. And sometimes you don't give it to your child because you love them. Sometimes you give it to your child because you're tired of hearing that mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what Jesus was saying. We should be so persistent with God. Faith believing that we're going to receive it, that we're going to wear them down. Like kids do. They want to wear their parents down until they finally get their way. Now, I'm talking according to God's will because there's purpose, there's his will, and there's his perfect will, and it all works into his purpose. So there are times when timing is involved, too. And you may not get what you want now because it may be more detrimental in the long run, even though it's a blessing. So God will work in perfect timing, the fullness of time. You hear me on that? Okay. So trust God to do the impossible. He is more than able. You hear me? He is more than able. God is a prayer hearing, and a prayer answering God. Trust him. He knows what to do. Be still. Peace be still. Psalms 46. Be still and know that I am God.